Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your financial reading for the for mid March uh, 2019. Uh, this month, I go live every single day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you want to catch me live, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you will catch me live. Uh, but Gemini, let's see what we have going on for you. I'm doing something different this month as well. I'm pulling three tarot cards as well for your financial readings and uh, this is going to kind of be your overview for the month so for your overview for the month you have the eight of cups coming up first i feel like some of you could just be walking away from a job you definitely have new jobs showing up here in your reading so i feel like there is new job potential I just feel like some of you don't feel fulfilled at work. And again, some of you just would be walking away. You in Sagittarius always get this message. I feel like for a lot of you, I feel like you don't have to leave your job. I don't think there's any reason for you to leave your job. But I do feel like for a lot of you that there could be something that just is more fulfilling, something that is better. So again, I think it's an option. I don't think you have to do it. But I'd say if you don't feel fulfilled, if you don't feel like you're getting paid fairly enough, I would say leave. I feel like there's something better. For others, I do feel like you, I do feel like love, there is an a, attachment to love here. So I feel like some of you could be leaving a relationship or something, and I feel like that could be um, leading to some changes in your finances as well, is what I would say here. Uh, next, you have the Fool card. I do feel like you have to take a leap of faith at this time. You have a five here showing up in the playing cards as well. Gemini, fives represent taking a risk or jumping, you know, kind of taking a leap of faith. The Fool card here represents taking a leap of faith, you know, jumping towards something that you want this month. So I do feel like you have to take a risk. For others, I feel like you could just, I, I do feel like you could be getting a new offer at work or in business. And again, that could be some sort of leap of faith for you. And finally, you have the Magician. Now, this is a card of new beginnings. So I feel like in a lot of ways, there are new beginnings coming in for you here um, financially and work-wise. But I feel like there's a need for you to make sure you use your tools, all your all your tools, talents, skills, and abilities. Eight of Cups, again, says you if you are not using your God-given talents in work, then you know, you are kind of missing out. It says that you could be feeling like a lack because of it, or you are missing out in some way because of that. So in a lot of ways, I feel like these cards are saying, like, make sure you get a job where you're using things that you, you know, the talents and skills that you have. Make sure, or make sure your business is taking advantage of all your talents, skills, and abilities, or at least one of them. Because again, maybe you're in a business that doesn't use anything that you're good at, and that would be a shame, is what this card says. So for your playing cards, you start off with the King of Clubs here and the Seven of Spades. I feel like for some of you, your head might be a little bit in the clouds financially, or you're just not very grounded right now. This is, it really isn't a problem. This isn't a bad card. Seven of Spades also says uh, internal fears that don't exist. So in a lot of ways, this could say that maybe some of you are having financial concerns or financial worries that you just don't need to have. Um, you know, and again, it could be because of the retrograde, of course. You could be, you know, kind of thinking about problems from the past or financial worries from the past that just don't exist. So again, I would say let those worries, let those fears go, because I don't think you need to have at this time for others i feel like this could be like a partner in your life and again they could be having a lot of financial worries and again i would just say you know just it, it, i feel like this energy will pass i wouldn't really worry about it uh next you have the five of hearts in the ace of clubs yeah i feel like some of you number one could be starting a business or starting a new job i feel like there is a birthing process there you know birth is considered to be like a painful process it's considered to be difficult on the mother on the baby you know the baby doesn't want to come out and all this other stuff so this could be you like starting a new business but you know maybe it's a painful process maybe you have to make some sacrifices like maybe you won't be able to spend a lot of money because you're going to put it all in your business or maybe you won't be able to go out with your friends because you know you need to work on your business so i do feel like there's like an element of sacrifice here i do feel like there's an element of needing to kind of like wait um and you know decide what you're going to do with your finances for others i feel like this could be this is my well number one i mean also this is my favorite card in the deck the ace of clubs so i do feel like there could definitely be more success coming in for you but i do feel like this is also talking about kind of like cycles as well this card is called the ring so it kind of represents cycles and going through cycles financially i feel like this is like pay attention to your cycles financially because I feel like you know there could be times where you have a lot of money and then there could be times where you don't have a lot of money but I feel like you could even that out if that makes sense just by paying attention to the cycles for others, I feel like friends for some reason, but I do feel like like friends, or there could be some sort of jealousy situation. You always get this, Gemini. I don't know why, but uh, this jealousy thing comes up for you all the time. So I would say, you know, kind of like let that je jealous energy go, but I feel like a lot of success here. Uh, Ace of Clubs is my favorite card, like I said, card of abundance. Uh, next, you have the two of spades and the nine of spades. Yeah. 
like I said, I feel like for a lot of you, there could be a work change available to you. Like I said, it's one of those things, though, because like I said, kind of like Sagittarius, I don't think that this change is obvious. It's not like, like, I don't think that it's this is like a job that just jumps out at you that you see, like, you know, that just comes towards you. I feel like you have to go find it. Like, I feel like it's a, you know, job opportunity that you have to go search for. And I said this, I always say the same thing to Sagittarius as well. So I feel like this is your you changing your mind, and this could be you leaving something. So I do feel like there could be opportunity for a lot of you. This could also represent a temporary blessing in disguise. So I'd say if there have been any delays legally for you, Gemini, or in other areas of your life, this could say that's a temporary blessing in disguise. This could also represent temporary work or part-time positions. I would say, Gemini, do not be afraid to take part-time work or temporary positions because Nine of Spades represents temporary work or part-time positions that could turn into something full-time. So if you need a job, I would say just take something part-time, take something temporary, and then turn it into a full-time position. Now that's literally what this card means, so uh, that's a good card. And by the way, any of you who are freelancers, any of you who do like freelance work, contract work, anything like that, really good card. Next, you have the Four of Hearts and the Seven of Clubs. Uh, definitely a new job. Four of Hearts is a new job card. and So I do feel like there could be new jobs coming in for a lot of you. This could also be a move as well. I do feel like there are opportunities for a lot of you Geminis to move and get a job. This comes up for you, Scorpio, and like Taurus, I think. So it's like you are the main like three signs that get this message of potentially being able to move to increase your finances. For those of you in business, this could be confusion about how to build like a group of people around you, even if you're not in business. Like let's say you're in real estate or something like that or some sort of business where networking is important. This could say that you're feeling stuck on your network or maybe you're just not building up enough people around you. But look at your outcome is the uh, Ten of Hearts, which is a huge network. So I wouldn't even worry about it. But I do feel like some of you could be experimenting or working on that. I also feel like some of you are not seeing results like you would you like you want to or something is popping into my head. Kind of a weird message, but I'm, I don't know. I'm trying to clarify it in my head, but what I feel like it is, is it's like maybe you do, maybe you do a certain type of work and maybe other people who do it are like making a lot more money than you. Like, I feel like there's a disconnect here or there's some sort of challenge there. Um, I, like I said, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to clarify it in my head, but it's, but it's almost like you see other people who do the same amount of work you do, but they're doing better. Uh, that might be for one of you out there, but I feel like that's about to change. So again, I wouldn't worry about it. And finally, you have the Ten of Hearts and the Four of Clubs as your outcome. Ten of Hearts is a card of loyalty. So a lot of you could be focused on building a loyal customer base or loyal following of people in your business. For others, this could be fortune after difficulty. So you could be making more money at this time as far as your finances are concerned, and that would probably be pretty good for you with this Ten of Hearts. And uh, Four of Clubs is a card of the retrograde. Almost everybody gets this card during the retrograde. It's really crazy, really weird. But, um, you know, it just says follow the typical retrograde rules. Yeah, and I want to see what else you had. You, you have three nines now here, Gemini. Uh, nine of Diamonds, Nine of Clubs. This is a card of trying to stand out as much as you can. And Nine of Diamonds is a card of, like, death. It's called the Coffin. So it says that there are there's potential raises, promotions, new jobs, new businesses. There could also be more money coming in through work. But in a lot of ways, this says that you have to um, kind of, like, open up to it is what this card says. So um, Nine of Diamonds says that, you know, you are inside the coffin. Like I said, this card is called the Coffin. It says you are inside this coffin when there's a coffin on here, you need to kick that coffin door open to a new life. So I feel like there could be a lot of changes coming in for you, but it's like you have to make them happen. So that's what I, like I've been saying this whole time about there could be another job for you, but I feel like you have to go get it. Or there could be more business in business for you, but I feel like you have to go get it in some way. Nine of, Club, Nine of Clubs comes up for like air a lot for some reason it comes up for libra all the time pretty much every single reading i do for libra they get this card it's a card of like needing to stand out as much as possible it's a card of like needing to try to stand out in business and needing to try to stand out at work as well so i'd say you know it would be a good month for you to try to get more attention on you because that will probably just lead to more success but gemini it looks like a really good reading a lot of good stuff coming up here so um yeah so thank you for watching and enjoy your month